something that Albert wrote about in the MMQB caught my eye. What do you got? He says that uh, an unnamed executive says that J.J. McCarthy is quote-unquote way off from the top three quarterbacks in this year's draft. And um, talking about how they were surprised by his size. Yeah. I've, He's I've lanky. Heard, I've heard a little bit about that. Doesn't weigh very much. One veteran exec told me in the fall that he was taken aback by how narrow and lanky the Wolverines quarterback was, calling him a stretched out Bryce Young, Breer wrote. Whoa. Okay. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I just, I just want to say this. It's unfair what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Have you ever heard about a quarterback coming into the league off of a stellar season, not a championship season, but a stellar season for his school? And he got drafted all the way in the sixth round because everybody thought he couldn't do it. You're right. That's not fair what you're doing. I know. (laughs) I know. But you compare players just because of the school that they go to. You know, I I don't care how lanky he was. There wasn't a single time I was sitting there watching that team over the last two years talking about how stretched out and lanky he is. And I understand the pros are totally different than college. But I would just um, tell anybody out there that you uh, pass on this guy at your peril. The Denver Broncos are meeting with him tonight, according to George Payton, the general manager of the Broncos. Wise move. Wise move. I think that would be an outstanding fit. Will he drop to 12? Should the Broncos trade up to go get him? When you meet him, and we've only met over Zoom, I look forward to shaking his hand. I might linger in the handshake. Heads up. Might be one of those awkward ones. He'll attempt to let go first, I'm sure. <laughs> but um, I, I, I've just have, you know, communicated with him for two years. And um, you pass at your peril. And when you meet him, you get impressed. That's it. And it sure looks like the Broncos are in the market for a new quarterback. And we'll get to that in hour number three because Sean Payton spoke today. Also, there's six months before next season. He could easily put on 15 pounds. The lankiness, exactly. Suddenly he's 215, 220. The the dynasty. Uh, Whatever. The dynasty documentary. I'd never seen the moving pictures of Brady at the the combine. With the shirt off. You've only seen the shirt off photographs. It's it's film they they had they got the footage of that and him running at the combine and him running the three cones looking like what what, what they say is a baby like a baby deer with his limbs like, flying all like over the place just born and i can't really walk around. but brady had the size brady's never had his size question yeah, brady's a big guy six five yeah big guy never yeah. had the size question so but we, we do realize that going to the same college does not guarantee you. Oh, no, success, no, no. Right? No, but, I, but, but I'm just saying, no, no. I, I'm saying that Michigan is not known as a quarterback school. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Even okay. with Tom Brady having seven rings, because Brady there had to deal with Drew Henson, which is another part about this documentary. It's just like when, that Brady, what Brady had to overcome to get the opportunity to become to- the the Tom Brady that we all know is truly an unbelievable journey. But you didn't think of him as a great quarterback until that 2007 season. I, what you didn't think of him as a great quarterback until 2007, even after he I, I won say, three I, out of four. I would say New England fans were like, "This is the guy." But I think nationally, it was just kind of like, "Oh, he's got a great defense. He doesn't really throw a lot. He's never had more than like 20 touchdowns." Like, is the you know he's kind of getting carried by. Uh, Brewski and McGinnis and, and Will Ford. And I guess and as evidenced by the fact that Bill. Deion Branch got the MVP in that Super yeah. Bowl, not not the guy who threw yeah. it to him. In yeah. the same way that Ben didn't get it, Santonio Holmes right. got it because there was a lack of respect for Ben 
although diff- for different sure. reasons. Then 2007 hits, and it's just, I mean, they scored 38 points the first three games of the season. You're F- like, what? what is this team? 50 touchdowns. And now you're like, oh, he's one of the greatest now. Because also, Chris, it took a long time for the majority of the people to put him above Peyton. Peyton held on to that quote unquote number one guy spot for a without long, having won, without winning for a long. Yeah. Pe- so I, I don't know if it was people just didn't sure. want to give it to Brady. I'm, I'm just but. telling you, the kid is the national championship quarterback for a reason. It's not, and it's not because of, you know, obviously the team was great, defensively great, offensive line great, running game is what got him through Penn State. I think he was hurt in that game. I'll just say you're overlooking him at your peril and just leave it at that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.